80% of all kids feel good about themselves when they enter school. By the fifth grade, only 20% do. Is anybody grasping the enormity of that statement? These kids, when people care about them, a little tender love and care, you can see the energy is powerful. Through your greatest fear lies your greatest growth. Because fear is uncomfortable. And uncomfortable keeps you where you are. But when you move too uncomfortable, you grow. Relationship building is the key element in the teacher-student learning paradigm. So when I come in and do my training, especially since I've been in the classroom for so many years myself, when I come in and do the training, I start talking about strategies on relationship building. If you're standing next to someone you know or work with, move. Okay, here's what we're going to do. For the next 60 seconds, you're going to ask what your, their name is, what school they go to, and something just about them that they can share with you. It's so empowering to see them now actually building relationships right there in the audience. And they can understand why they're truly involved, they're truly connected. Most of the time you come into contact with a person's mask. We have to look be beneath all that. We need to listen closer. Every now and then someone has to naturally let out a kernel of information because as the heart thinketh, so the mouth speaks. We know that if our teachers are not building positive relationships with kids, student achievement just does not happen. We brought Wes Hall in to re-energize our staff, to help them rebuild their passions about kids with some very concrete ideas on how to do that. Hope. Gallup is doing a very extensive longitudinal study on hope. As a matter of fact, they found out that the lack or the presence of hope is a greater indicator uh, to the success of a student than SAT or ACT. I've been working with hope so much that I even developed an acronym for hope, and I'm going to share it with you. It's uh, having optimism when pessimism is everywhere. You mean, does my para like me? have something to do with how I'm going to receive and be educated? You know, a lot of times teachers come in and they have this great idea, they have a, they're full of caring. Then they get in the classroom and there's so many challenge situations, along with new strategies, standard-based grading, etc., that they start getting really worn down. What they need sometimes is their well, their capacity increase, and that's what this training really does. It's a capacity builder. <laughs> There should be at least one time in their day that they come in contact with a complete human being. Uh, so you selected this area for the view, sir. <laughs> Wes Hall brings an enthusiasm in his professional development that makes them want to have more. So we'll have some more of Wes Hall here at South High. I say to you this morning, go forth and find your purpose, work in your purpose, rid yourself of your fears, be that powerful blessing to someone else, and the world will be the beneficiary of your efforts. Rebecca Noble has been a teacher for 23 years. After taking Wes Hall's training and changing the way she talks to her students, she's seen a difference in their behavior and attendance. We are here to guide young, youthful energies to the place they were meant to be because each of them is a seed that was here to grow to do something powerful. After uh, Wes's class, I just had a wake up and now I dress in suits. You know, I dress for success because I know that's what I need. Never give up, never give up, never give up and stay true to your dreams. Show me their hope, and I'll show you their possibilities.